It's not good enough for me since I've been with you. It's not gonna work for you. Nobody can. to work I have the Sephora advent calendar that my sister got me and it is actually amazing let me pull it back so that you guys can kind of see today is the 5th of December so I'm gonna open the fifth box which is here guys I've literally found so many things in here that I actually wanted to buy this is the Aurum Vicar Budapest deep cleansing mask but honestly, the, the stuff that's in here is crazy. Like, this is the box for the first. And inside it, there is a pie uh, light work rosehip fruit oil cleansing oil. That is, like, huge. And it's, like, a full-size one. And there's also a full-size Elemis toner. Um, the apricot toner, which is so cool. On the second day, there was the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which i think is so amazing because i've been watching this girl on tiktok and i really want to try do her eyelash routine right now i'm using benefits they're real and it's so good but i want to try the better than sex then it's the um beige floor elastic cream by the same people soul brand that make the brazilian bum bum cream so i've always wanted to try this brand because i've heard that their moisturizing cream is so good for skin um, like your body like a body cream so so glad I get to try that. And then let me show you the last one, which is the fourth. On the fourth, I got this Declaw uh, Cleansing Mousse, um, which is so cool. Honestly, like I would be so hyped if I got each of these individually as like a gift for Christmas. So um, I'm so glad that I got it as an advent calendar. Um, this advent calendar was a present for my sister, so I love it. This is today's outfit of the day for work. I'm wearing nor the mess behind me i'm wearing this zara top this old river island skirt from when i was literally in sick form sorry this is a cardigan tights and then i'm gonna wear black boots underneath and then i have a headband to tie my hair up and then i'll roll these sleeves up when i'm on the ward i'm gonna drink my coffee and then i'm gonna grab my lunch from the fridge and then i'm gonna go i don't always have lunch with me but like i often do i would say like 50 percent of the time um, either my mum has cooked something um, like the night before and then I take it or she makes me a sandwich or I make myself something um, but the other 50% of the time I might just want to eat in the cafeteria um, with my colleagues or I might want to like um, order something in um, so it's real mixed but nowadays I'm enjoying taking things in more because when I, I realise when I don't I end up feeling more like groggy because I end up eating unhealthy foods so yeah I'm trying to take stuff in with me. Lost a pound in the past couple of weeks. At least I'm not eating the food that I was eating. You're on the path to where you want to go. That's all that really matters. It's the path of just changing yourself and becoming a little bit better every single day. And get a Lamborghini or whatever it is and go, you know what? Good for them. They've got currently 3 15 in the afternoon i had to check the computer screen to be able to tell but after the ward round in the morning i basically um come back to the office and make a list of all the jobs that we've created for all the patients and then i might call relevant teams to um maybe need their input for something um for example i might call radiologists to ask them about a scan we might need or i might call for example, a cardiologist for um, further tests for a patient if we're worried about their heart, for example. So these are the kind of jobs that you'd create and also discharge letters are another job 
that are created in hospitals so for example if a patient is going home um, they get a letter themselves about what happened to them when they were in hospital and what we did how we investigated and how we treated them and then we send that copy to the GP as well so the GP knows everything that happened to their patient whilst they were in hospital so we've been doing that I had lunch in the office had a cream of tomato soup I was literally working at the desk so couldn't record that to show you guys and now I'm having a Costa it's in the coffee it's in the Christmas coffee cup with the gingerbread very cute and I'm just gonna keep getting on with my work so I just got home from my Pilates session um, and I'm gonna have dinner it is 10 past 9 so yeah pretty much by the time I get home do my workout and come back it is this time of the evening um but i actually split my meals so that i had a soup at like one o'clock and i had a salad like a chicken salad but like a really chunky chicken salad at like 3 30 so that i wouldn't be dying of hunger by the time i go to my workout so i've actually paced it well i'm at, i'm feeling all right now but i'm gonna have gorma sabzi my mom has made <gasps> Unfortunately, my dog has this bad habit of literally just sitting anywhere that my feet are and he won't move even though I like walk he won't move I'm sorry um, My mum's made for a sabzi Hey mum Hello Hi <laughs> So this is her for my sabs I'm gonna have it with some rice and she's also made some salad I'm gonna sit down and relax. devour this and relax then I'm going to go upstairs. I have some stuff that I need to sort out in my room. And then I need to re reply to some emails. And just do that kind of stuff. There's a lot to do. But it's 10 past 9. I'm going to give myself to like 10, 10.30 to chill out. With an aim of going to bed at around midnight. My goal is to try and go to bed earlier. But sometimes it can be hard. Um, just because if you want to make time for things like the gym it does mean that you do make these little sacrifices like sleep um but yeah i'm gonna try and think about how i can do it better but honestly by the time you do life admin and stuff like there's no time in the day anymore especially now i've just got so much stuff that i feel like i need to sort out anyway enough rambling let's eat yummy yummy Good morning, in today's episode of Christmas Outfits for Work by Seppi, I'm wearing this green fuzzy jumper and a black skirt with tights. I'm up and ready for a new day. Remember all those things I told you I was going to go upstairs and do after I watched some TV? I didn't do any of it, I was so exhausted you guys. These days I'm working six or seven days a week. This isn't like a forever sort of scenario, I think my aim is to work six days a week, not seven, I think that's just too exhausting but I think in the month of December there's just so much to do and to be done and also so much opportunity to work in hospital as well that um, I feel like I need to kind of do my part and fill in the gaps in winter where um, there's such high demand in hospital and they could really do the help with their extra help so that's what I'm up to another day of work another day another dollar I think I'll like unpack my advent calendar when I come home from work even though I'm kind of curious maybe we'll just unpack it now but I'm gonna grab my lunch from the fridge I have another soup with me today and I have a bagel I will show you it at lunchtime so today's lunch is the chunky spiced lentil soup from M&S. It is a 10 out of 10. I don't usually eat lunch in the office. I usually go out to eat my lunch in the cafeteria or something. But it is so busy today that I just can't afford the time to go out and come back. So here I am eating lunch on my desk. It is 7 p.m. and I'm literally leaving work two hours late. Oops, let me pause this podcast. I'm leaving work two hours late. Best believe I'm exhausted. And also, doctors, um, in case any of you guys are wondering, aren't actually meant to and don't stay in two hours late. It's just the department that I'm working in right now is one where it kind of shuts at five and anything that doesn't happen by five, you kind of have to stay behind 
to complete and handing over stuff to departments that are open until after five can sometimes be difficult because we're dealing with chronic patients. Um, so yeah, that's the scenario. I'm going straight to the gym now because well, technically the plan was if I left at five, I would go straight to the gym so I could be home by like 7.30 um, so that I could do the stuff that I wanted to do last night. But you know, we move um, and yeah, I'll come back to you when I'm in better lighting. It's 8.30, <clears throat> swords guys. It's 8.30, I came home and then, I don't know what happened, but my mood was just like, I don't really wanna go gym. Not that I wasn't bothered to exercise, but I've actually been working for nine or 10 days straight now. And I just wanted like a night off where I chill. So I asked Sol if she's down to come out with me and we just go somewhere kind of close by not too far and chill together and she said yes so I've had dinner and we're gonna go out now I'm gonna get changed I've got my top on sorry that my wardrobe is a mess I need to still organize but yeah I'm gonna get changed now and then I am gonna go out with her so that's what we're up to now also my mum made the best chicken korma it was divine um it was one of these like you know where you get the packs where like you you like mix all the ingredients into like the sauce that they've created and like the herbs and all of that i don't know what it's called i think it's called like spice taylor but it was really 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 good so if you guys see that in like waitrose or tesco's definitely try it out guys there's two types of girls <laughs> her this is me in trainers Tis I. My hair clip keeps coming down. Oh, I can't make these hair clips stand right. I love my hair. I like your hair. I like your hair. I can't make my I like hair. everything about you. I can't make my hair clips stand You're right. You're my crush. You're my crush. Oh, I wonder if I can open my sixth of. Ah, oh, there's December. Oh, do you have a name of Shepard? Do you want to? No. Okay, sixth. Nail polish. Nail polish, let's see. 10 out of 10 on a bad day. Public affection, I tell her come kiss me. Like mine obsessed, clingy. If you don't miss me, miss me. If you don't miss me, it's a mystery. A lot of my friends say that I know a lot of the lyrics to a lot of songs. I know all the lyrics. What do you think of my hair, guys? I love her with dark hair. So many people commented saying they love your dark hair. There is a the lot of people who are like, oh, I'm just so blonde. You know what's funny? Iranians prefer you blonde, I think, because all the comments are like in Farsi, like, oh, so much blonde to Today's been such another long day at work. I'm very tired. It is the end of the day, and I'm going to go home. And today I will go to the gym, uh, I promise. But I had another soup for lunch today, 10 out of 10, soup and sandwich scenario. So look at me guys, I'm, I need a coffee at this point. So I think I'm gonna have like a coffee or a BCAA drink when I get to the, drink, the when I get to the gym because I need it. Um, and it's almost 6 p.m. now. So I'm gonna head off and go straight there. Also, have you noticed that all my outfits are so Christmas Eve at work? I hope you're Smile for my vlog. <laughs> this is today's shopping buddy. What do you want from Zara? What do you want from Zara? <laughs> Guys, he's looking at himself in the mirror like, who's that? Who's that handsome fella? Hey. <laughs> I'm like yawning. Okay, let's do a little shop. How cute. What? This is not cute. This looks, actually it's cute, but it looks like something my mum would wear. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> 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 That was definitely a shop till you drop situation. I didn't try anything on, so I need to. So I think I will film a winter Zara haul for you guys for my next video, um, just to show you guys everything that I got because I got so much stuff. If that's what you guys want to see, make sure to leave a comment down below. Before I end this video, I just wanted to take a minute to quickly talk to you guys about what's going on in Iran. Um, today they executed one of the protesters. He was a young guy, I think he was under 30 years old, and his crime was blocking a road during the protests. As in, I feel like my heart's been so heavy, I can't even like listen to like Iranian music like I used to listen to 
passively because now I just picture someone like the artist that I listen to trapped in a prison awaiting execution for wanting freedom and wanting women's rights and this is just the most horrific situation that the Iranian people are going through and I'm proud of them for fighting and being strong and I feel like I want to try and support as much as I can and if you guys keep being incredible as you are sharing the word and raising awareness um just speaking to each other sharing posts if you can and if you want to I don't want to ever feel like I'm pressuring anyone but um if you do I'm really grateful even speaking about the matter I'm really grateful so I'm gonna end the vlog there I love you guys so much and I will see you next time.